Hi and welcome to High on Coding. I'm your host, Mohamed Azam, and in this particular video I will just introduce you to the concept of render partial. So render partial is basically when you want to render a user control in ASP.NET MVC application and you use you want to use that particular function or the HTML helper, which is a render partial, to get the contents of the user control and inject it to the current stream. So I have a category and a category page. Uh, let me actually run it so you'll have a much better idea of uh, what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to go to category slash list. So if I go to this page, you, as you can see, this is a blank page. It doesn't really display anything. So what we want to do is to display number of categories over here. I can use the same page and I can some type some code over here. I can, you know, loop through a collection of categories and create it over here. But if I want to reuse those categories in a different page, then I can make them as a user control or as a partial view. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to add a partial view. I'm just going to go to category and I'm going to add it over here. Now you can also add it into your shared folder. The first folder that your view engine is going to actually look is the current view folder, which in this case is categories. And the next one will be the shared folder. So I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to say a new item. And then after this pops up, uh, I can actually see, you can actually see the web user control, but we are not going to select web user control. So this is for the web forms environment. We're going to say MVC view user control, and I can name them, name that anything. So I'm just going to say categories.ascx. Now you can actually see it's a blank page, doesn't really have anything, okay? Now, if I go to the controller, I mean, if I just want to render it out, it's pretty simple because if I just go over here and I'm just going to say uh, render, well, HTML dot render partial, and I can just say the name categories, okay? And I will go over here and build this go over there and uh, refresh the page basically I don't see anything over here but what I'm going to do is going go over here and I can say okay h2 adding two and categories so this will be displayed over here and you can see that this is our partial view that is being displayed on our page now if I do want to pass some data to this view, to this partial view, it's the job of the controller. So if I go to controller, we have a category controller. And you will see that inside the list, I'm just putting something over here. Okay, so let's remove this. So in the view data, I have the categories. I'm pushing categories inside this. And I'm also putting, pushing some user and returning the view. Now, whatever you put into the view data, from the controller and we're talking about um, the page that you have. The page that we have is a list.aspx and the controller that it uses is category controller. That particular view data is also available to the partial view, which in this case is categories.aspx. So if I go over here and if I say that, okay, I need to, you know, get the data, so I can simply run a loop and get the data. What we're going to do is we're going to do something more interesting. And I can actually say strong type this view to hold a category. Okay. Now I have strong type the view or and I will go over here and I have view categories over here. I can also say view data dot model. I'm setting up the model for that particular view data and let me build that and I can now go over here and I trade through it so I can say for each var category in model okay 
and now I can simply iterate through it and because I'm using a strongly typed reference as shown over here my enumerable of category and I can do anything that I want so I'm just going to say okay and uh, category dot name okay so that's pretty much it I'm going to go over here and I will refresh the page and you will see that whatever categories that I pushed into the view data or the model are, is all, are also available in our partial view. Okay, so they are available over here also. Not only that these are available, the view data of user is also available. So if I just go over here to the categories and I will simply say view data uh, user And I would say the user, it's not users. And let me refresh the page. And you will see that all the data that you put into the view data it will is available um, in the partial view. Okay. So that was the introduction of partial view and HTML uh, render partial to to render the partial views. It's a nice way. Of basically arranging the components on the page if you have worked with user controls it is a similar idea it's a very same actually idea of the user controls there are some differences which we will cover in the next screencast I hope you liked the video and please visit highoncoding.com there are tons of videos articles and part upcoming podcasts also if you do like to donate you can just email me at Adam Sharp at gmail.com if you're interested in advertising then also email me at awesomesharp at gmail.com thank you very much